Hello, my name is Naomi Morris. I am a postgraduate research student at the University of Portsmouth School of Earth and Environmental Sciences. I also work for an international relief agency called Map Action, which helps to coordinate um, the relief efforts in the event of a major disaster. My job at the University in Portsmouth entails looking at new and low cost methods to aid disaster risk reduction. My job with Map Action involves deploying in a team in the event of a disaster to work with other organisations in the field to help coordinate the relief effort. The best bits of working in an international humanitarian organisation is the travel, meeting new people all the time in an exciting field, but also the teamwork. In the event of a disaster when we deploy, you have to work in stressful situations with people and it doesn't work unless you are working as a team, which is a great feeling at the end of the day. At the beginning of 2008, I deployed with Map Action to Bolivia to help uh, aid the flooding which had occurred. We were in a small team working with the United Nations Disaster Assessment Coordination in an area in the Amazon called Trinidad. There were 120,000 refugee families, 80,000 of which were living in a small area surrounded by a dike which was just about to be overtopped by a large amount of water and it was going to fill up like a swimming pool. Now one of the things we were working on was mapping evacuation routes where these people could be moved to and we went up on helicopter assessments to locate areas of high flat land where this large population of people could, could move to. I find working in the humanitarian field very rewarding. It's incredible going away on a deployment, working with other organisations and feeling that you're trying to make a difference. Similarly, in my research, the work I'm doing is hopefully helping to create new tools that can, in the long run, help people and people that are trying to work in the development field. My advice for anyone wanting to work in the humanitarian field is to concentrate on perhaps gaining more languages if you speak English um, as your first language, try and pick up foreign ones, maybe specifically Spanish is very useful, French and Arabic would be great. Um, I would also consider keeping abreast of the, the current situation uh, internationally, keeping an idea of, of what is going on in the world. I don't think it's imperative to have volunteer experience for the humanitarian field, however I think it is incredibly beneficial not only for the organisation for which you want to apply for to see that you have that passion or commitment, but also for your own confidence to already have a little bit of experience because it is so varied and it can be quite a demanding job, I think it's beneficial to have some, yeah. The humanitarian field is only going to get bigger. With the increasing threat from climate change, increasing hazards, environmental effects, flooding, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, also with more environmental modelling occurring, so more jobs are needed within that sector, it's only going to increase. 